Not yet. I'm thinking to myself, we never know open. A constraint that gives us a landscape in which to find ourselves. A parameter that tells us nothing about how far we can go. Pouring one bag of sand into another, we learn to bear weight by bearing weight, I tell her. I'm not the same after these three days, after one year of celibacy, after the paneling of 36 years. I'm thinking to myself, we never know open. How she said, psychologically, I want to take the whole thing and how I loved her then. How that was just what I was asking for. The boundaries of her body and in what capacity can we begin to exist. I'm thinking to myself, we never know open. The relief of diminishing importance and exhaustion of cellular proportions. Not a martyr, but a cylinder of grief. I'm thinking to myself, we never know open, and the body not nearly as powerful as we give it credit for. A bullet through and through is still a bullet, and five days later, the fact of your breathing is tenuous, and how we wonder what the eyes begin to see. I'm thinking to myself, we never know open, how the body is capable only of leaving, or touch, or tender, or arriving, or space, or aggress. How the body is a paradox we practice being friendly with. How we care immensely about it absolutely in this moment and how we then turn and then completely let it go. How this is exactly how I wish to be misunderstood by you. May we be this fortunate and always may we die listening to the stretching of our skin. I'm thinking to myself, we never know open. I'm thinking to myself, we never know. When I speak of the body, I speak no longer of speaking. I speak of a foot that releases itself easily from the floor. I speak of a body that no longer knows itself inhabited by so many words. The body speaks only of body, the speaking speaks only of words. When I speak of bodies that cover other bodies, I speak of light that does not yet know it is light. I speak of the soft gaze. I speak of starting anywhere. I speak of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people in love. I speak of time and accumulation. I speak of audacity. I speak of the control I used to have over smaller things. I speak of hands laid down on shoulders. When I speak of the body, I speak of a church built by my grandfather. I speak of pews I fell asleep on. I speak of learning how I would learn to know love. I speak of touching anyway, despite not knowing our hands. I speak of bless you, and bless you, and please. When I speak of the body, I speak of animals who do not know they are animals. I speak of a neck that tries to protect itself. I speak of women who confuse women with safety. I speak of men who confuse women with men. I speak of all the difference in the world between composing and dragging the careful body from A to B. I speak of feeding the feet of persistence. I speak of windows, a folding chair one can carry on the back. I speak of being surprised by my body and how I no longer expect to be surprised. I speak of the satisfaction of levers. I speak of a hope so total, so unyielding in the moment one realizes one has been misunderstood. When I speak of the body, I speak of learning to love the world. By the way, I am learning to love the world. I speak of learning to love the world by the way it comes apart. Thank you.